my class again we will discuss about the second part of unit 8 of our workbook so here we will learn about the punctuation mark when we are writing we use different types of symbols they are called punctuation marks suppose you write something you have to keep full stop question mark asterisk mark comma inverted comma apostrophe colon and hyphen semicolon are used in the writing language so first we will know about it look at this punctuation marks these are called punctuation marks it means punctuation marks means one of the signs that we use when we are writing when we are writing we use some of these symbols in our language okay then now see they are like number 1 is full stop look at this this symbol is called full stop then question mark then semicolon this symbol is called comma this is apostrophe apostrophe means of this is ram's book this is gita's pencil we use the apostrophe that is that symbol is called apostrophe then number 6 is asterisk mark when we suddenly express our expression so here we use asterisk mark number 7 is inverted comma inverted comma the statements are kept in the inverted comma it is used in direct speech or in a dialogue mahatma gandhi said non violence is my policy non violence is my policy it will be written in inverted comma so we use like this direct and indirect we use this then number 8 is colon when we fill up the forms we found or uh, we find this symbol in every step okay then 9 is hyphen we give a small dash that is called hyphen it is used in black code in the past black code was two words so black then we use the hyphen and then board so we use the hyphen just like a cooperative bank cooperative co then hyphen then this is called slash or oblique we use these ten symbols in our punctuation so children we will do some problems how can we supply the symbols according to the sense of the sentence okay so here children where is my bed mother there is no symbol here and before it you have to know that where it is the name of a person we have to make the capital letter first letter should be capital and first letter of the first word of the sentence should be capital we know about it so now we will do some problems look at this where is my bed mother i think it is a question so first what is our verb first we have to make w as the capital where is my bed where is my bed then we have to put a comma here. where is my bed then we call our mother then we will put a question mark where is my bed mother suppose you have kept your bed somewhere and you want to find it and you do not do it so then you will take your mother son then we ask where is my bed mother that means we are 
going to put a question to our mother, so we have to write like this. W is capital, then is my bed, comma, mother, then at the end of the sentence we put a question mark. Put a question mark. Then number two. Now we will write the question first. Why didn't you keep
the true means locked but wait the true means locked there is no symbol, symbol here also we have to make the capital letter to be what wait we take rest here we will put a comma wait here that room is locked that room is locked then we will put a full stop here ok children so in this way we have to use the punctuation marks in the sentence when we are writing because the, they play most important role in the writing language ok children remember these things and remember these symbols and how to use we have discussed about five sentences we have to make capital letters and use apostrophe if it is necessary commas semicolons full stops asterisk mark and question mark so children we should remember these things when we are writing at the end of the sentence either we have to put a question mark if it is a question or a full stop when it is an assertive sentence so here children we have discussed five questions number six is not necessary for us it will not come in the examination so we will not solve it because there is no space also in your workbook so we will not do it when you will come we will discuss about it ok so the class is over please children write from 1 to 5 in your workbook ok and these symbols I will send you the uh, items simple items to you you have to write these things in your abhyas notebook ok only the problems from 1 to 5 will be written in your workbook these problems are there in unit 8 ok children thank you thank you very much we will see you in the next class